Do not watch this movie on acid. Inside Out stars Amy Poehler, Bill Hader, and is directed by Pete Docter and Ronaldo Del Carmen. So Inside Out is the story of Riley, particularly the emotions that are in Riley's head. Riley is this kid and she is being uprooted from Minnesota and she's moving to San Francisco. Now most of the movie is going to be spent on the emotions which are joy, sadness, uh, disgust, anger, and fear. And I really like the beginning of this movie how those emotions play off of each other. Amy Poehler is joy and she is pretty much the ringleader of all the other emotions. It seems like she's the only one that's kind of in control of everything too which is kind of reminiscent of her character on Parks and Rec. But things go haywire when sadness is constantly touching her emotional balls, as you can call them in the movie. And these balls are her memories, Riley's memories. And she has these core memories and they are pretty much the centerpiece of the story. They're very important. And if they get away, then they could be gone forever. And so joy and sadness get pulled away from the headquarters, which are Riley's brain. And the story is them trying to get back to the headquarters. So the only thing running headquarters is anger, fear, and disgust. And one thing I really like about Inside Out is that it is an intelligent script. You definitely have to stay on your toes throughout the whole movie. And it really shows how all the emotions we have, each one is important. They serve a purpose. And the director really digs deep into our psyche. He shows all this, these little nuances that we have, like when you constantly hear a song in your head and you can't get it out of your head. They have fun with that idea. And they especially have fun with this idea of your subconscious and your dreams and how those things all affect your day-to-day -day operations in life. But the greatest thing about this is the emotional impact that it has, uh, especially at the end of the movie. I had heard a lot about this movie about how you will probably cry when you watch it. So as I'm watching the movie, along the way I'm thinking, um, I'm, I'm not really like tearing up yet and they've already explored quite a few things to do with sadness. But then it hit me like right at the end. There's a scene with Riley that everything's kind of comes full circle and you see that she is just really struggling with moving. And it really shows how life can be hard on kids. And a lot of times we as adults, we don't really pay attention to everything because we have everything going on in our lives. And I can really relate to this because I'm in the military and I move probably every three years and my kids have constantly been dragged through these situations. So that scene at the ending, it really hit home and I'm not spoiling anything for you guys. That is pretty much what the whole movie is about from start to finish is her dealing with moving. So I got to give Inside Out some credit. It really made me reevaluate the effect that me constantly moving had on my kids and how tough it was for them when they would go to a new base and they would make friends and then we would leave and it would pretty much rip them apart. Now personally I didn't think Inside Out was a perfect movie. I think Pixar has had better movies. The one thing that hurt this movie for me was the middle. It did get kind of tiring and I felt like the story got a little bit lost with the subconscious area. It's, it kind of stayed there too long and it got a little trippy too. And also I didn't think it was as funny as it could have been. Uh, most of the time in Pixar movies, like Toy Story for example, I remember I was laughing from start to finish on that movie, but it still had that emotional core. Whereas this one, it had the emotional core, but I wasn't laughing as much, so it did get kind of tiring. Luckily the ending really saved the movie. So for that, I can't quite give it a purchase worthy. I'm definitely going to give it a high humdrum though. So guys, what are some of your favorite animated movies? One of my favorites is The Emperor's New Groove. I really love that movie. I thought David Spade and John Goodman, they played off of each other so well. And there's just so many funny scenes in that movie. Looking forward to hearing some of your favorite animated movies. So guys, thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel, follow me on Facebook and Twitter, and Rum Dumb out.